guys you remember when i said that i thought that the level two housemates were still going to win this week's wager task because they seem to be putting in a lot of effort i take it back yes i take it back because what has been happening the past let me say let me say a day and a half now the past few days has just been crazy okay so we know that yesterday right there was this major major fight between Khaled, amaka fina and uh what's his name again uh brian yeah they had a major clash that just poured from something that was really quite simple and then it became a very huge argument and then there's the you know new task that uh, biggie has given modella you know what there's a lot okay just before i get into all of that i am bethy and this is the big brother nine just show here on tap tv and of course I am your girl with the information. I give you the latest, the hottest, just everything happening in the BB Niger show season of this year. So getting straight into everything. So yes, I was saying the level two housemates, maybe because they won the last wager task. So they've become a little bit complacent and they're feeling like, oh, we don't have to do too much. They have bought the character of the level one housemates and now the two ununited and, you know, being busy arguing and fighting too busy booing up and doing stuff under the sheets yes daniela i saw you i saw what you did i saw it but you know let's keep that aside for a few seconds yeah to actually work and actually practice their wager tasks so yesterday the fight between fina khaled amaka and uh, brian brian and fina being the core of the whole drama and you know amaka and khaled kind of playing supporting roles <laughs> okay so yeah that happened and basically the fight was not supposed to be a fight because i think brian i think brian is a little too can i say emotional he doesn't know how to handle his emotions he talks before he thinks yeah he just blots out the first thing that comes into his head and he's i think you know he's taking on this whole gen z gen z oh fuck shit all those kind of things you know you know that's not what makes you a man you know that right brian because i'm starting to think you don't but anyways so that fight was not supposed to be really a big deal it was just kind of a misunderstanding but anyway that happened and this morning sister fina was like <clears throat> You guys, I'm calling you for a family meeting. And there I was thinking that they were going to resolve their issues and move forward from there, right? But no, they started arguing again. It turned in, the so-called meeting turned into an argument in a way. And then, you know what pissed me off most about all of that was the fact that they just kept on bragging in their, can I say, bragging in their perceived foolishness because okay imagine fina saying things like she doesn't care what's gonna happen she can decide not to um, participate in the wager task and worst case big brother is gonna punish her and like she was proudly saying like allowing her emotions control her allowing flaunting her anger like it's something to be proud about you know and i'm like okay are you not supposed to stop and think you know try to think about what you're saying and really make sense of it but no she was proudly saying that she's she can like she can you know do crazy things that she, she can go mad those kind of things bragging about how she can lose control and yeah you're happy that you can lose control you're happy that you could lose it you could you could throw away everything throw away a seemingly nice opportunity because you're mad and then there was of course Khaled on his own saying his own things and saying that oh you know he's not the kind of person that likes to talk too much that he's zoning he's just give you blow all those kind of things i'm like okay bro i feel yeah okay i see you guys bragging and being proud that you cannot control your anger you're being proud that your anger is your weakness you're being proud that you don't have a handle on of yourself and that was how the whole supposed family meeting which i thought was going to make things better you know fix the problems and move on and concentrate on their wager task which is tomorrow you know no it didn't happen that that way instead they ended up arguing and fighting and all of that and well you know now they're adults so they have to still live 
amicably, although they are perhaps are still, you know, mad at, at each other or something. You still see them doing stuff together and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so yeah, by the way, the level one house, on the other hand, is so busy taking time to practice, to plan, to prepare for the wager task. And I feel so sorry for level two. You know, I'm kind of like rooting for you guys, but I feel so sorry for you guys because it seems as though you're going to lose this one. And I mean, you don't have a head of house title or head of house, you know, immunity, nothing. And then you're going to lose the wager task again. You guys should really stop and reevaluate and do not lose focus. Like what Big Brother said when he called Modella into the um, diary room, he was like, he thinks that the level two housemates are starting to lo lose focus of the reason why they are here. And that is true. They're too busy in relationships. Like in that house, almost everybody is booed up. There's Daniela and Khalid. There is Brian and Ilebaye. There is Beauty and Groovy. Dude, how many persons are left? And of course, the other people are just doing whatever they want. And of course, Elo Swags, let us say Elo Swags, sorry. Um, the married man, Kes, he, he cannot, he dare not be booed up with anybody. I mean, dude, you're married. Anyways. So there's, let's not even, okay, yeah. Speaking of booze, yeah. Daniela and uh, Khaled were too busy doing stuff under sheets to, you know, focus on the reason why they're here. You know, I don't even want to delve into the Daniela and Khaled thingy because like I was already criticizing uh, Bella and Shegs, right? Because I'm like, it's just been how many days into this two strangers, like you guys never knew each other before. Two strangers and you're already taking off each other's clothes, really? And, you know, getting involved in intimate things. And I'm like, okay, Daniela. But maybe though, you know, Khaled is up for eviction. So maybe she's like, you know, I'm gonna take this while I can or else I'm gonna lose it anyway i don't know what her reason was i don't know what their reason is for doing all of that so soon but whatever it is you guys you're starting to lose focus and if care is not taken the level one house is going to beat you guys hands down and i'm pleading that they come to their senses and realize that they need to work harder and you know put in more effort and make this work okay so to the mission that big brother gave modella you know i don't know why it seems like the whole world is against um beauty and groovy because their relationship is kind of stupid it's kind of i don't know it's it's just you're neither here nor there one means you're together next to me you're fighting one minute you're booed up next minute you're against each other and i am sorry like i feel sorry for beauty because i feel that she's wasting her time with a guy that doesn't really rate her i think that um groovy is just caught in the middle like he doesn't really want to be here but he's trying to see how the narrative is going and he's like okay i think i should just follow this script but he's not really wanting to be with bella and it makes, I think that is part of the reason why their relationship is always so rocky. Because every time that he's supposed to stand by her as the man, he's never there. He's always like the other time she was fighting with Ilebaye. Where was he? He was in the room. He's never really there when she needs him to support her. He's always, he just wants, he's just here for the good time, you know. He's just here for the good time, not a long time. <laughs> he's not really ready for the the real things that come with being in a relationship. Then beauty is just there crying over him, stressing over him, fighting for him, making Amala for him. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to let go of that one easily. <laughs> because Amala is a big deal. Anyway, I don't know what is up with that, that all of that. So Big Brother has apparently also gotten the info and he, he asked Modella to, you know, rock any ship she chooses and i kind of think that her focus should be on groovy and beauty because daniela and khaled they might be up like their relationship could end any moment and it just it's just new and it's just fresh libaya and brian like i don't even know what they're doing because i think we don't even get to see them really do stuff but the the, the relationship that's giving everybody headache is groovy and beauty so please modella just do it for us do it for me destroy that relationship we don't want it i don't want it like they need to focus they need to focus on other things and the reason why they are in the house anyway we're still looking to, forward to seeing what's going to happen during the wager task presentation i would still hope that level two would you know shock us and just do something amazing and win it again I mean, level one housemates are, are, they have a head of house. They probably starve if they do not win this week's wager task. But I, I don't know. 
I don't know how that's gonna turn out, but I would definitely be here to tell you exactly what happens, how it happens, and everything in between, okay? Unt until that time, I am Bethy, and this is the Big Brother Ninja Show here on Thav TV. And of course, you know what I always say, enjoy the rest of your day.